Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Channel 9 Live at Microsoft Ignite. We have done it. We have hit day five. We have hit Woo. Friday. It is the last morning show of the Woo. week. And we have yeah, an audience. We've got an audience. But it's not for us. It's for the thing that comes after us. It so. is. Yeah. Well, there's nothing like starting the show with our stage manager pulling Jeffrey Snover <laughs> off the stage going, sorry, you can't be here. Sir, sir, you must leave the stage now. I'm sorry, you can't be here. <laughs> uh, we're wearing our colors today. We are. We're wearing our colors. Um, I'm Gryffindor, as are you, and uh, you're Hufflepuff. Like there's a shock that he's Hufflepuff. <laughs> Told so you all along. I, I was I was unsure if, if I was if I was Ravenclaw or Gryffindor, but but Caitlin McKinnon, uh, our, our editor with the mostest, e resident authority. Yes, uh, resident Harry Potter authority. She was like, no, you are, you are definitely Gryffindor, and I said, okay. No, but Cameron Cameron Thomaser, he said I was Slytherin. There's no way you are Slytherin. I agree. There is absolutely I agree. no way. You're I agree. Thank you. Uh, but I wasn't really offended. I was like, I'm not cool enough. I'm not like, <laughs> I, I wish, I, you know, like, yeah. You're just not that, you're just not that evil. I'm no, evil. I wish I could be, but I'm not. Mm. I'm so not. For, I always say, I, I always explain my, my choice for Hufflepuff by saying there's two types of people in this world. There's either sharks or shark bait. <laughs> I am shark bait. Shark bait. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 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 Absolutely shark bait. Um, so last night, for those who are sitting at home, we decided to, um, we bailed out early. I, I, I'm sorry for those of you watching on the live stream. Yes. There was no wrap-up program. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the crew just bolted. We were sitting up on stage alone. Nobody here. Nobody here. Uh, nobody to press the button. And uh, so we had just ended up leaving and going to the party. I think we at least left a little note of... We uh, did. You know, so we're, we're off to the party. Gone see, fishing. See you tomorrow kind of thing. Yeah. Gone, gone, gone universaling. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's clearly the last day because I'm still putting my makeup on like as we're... <laughs> it's you know. clearly the last day because I could barely talk. <laughs> And that's not from being out too late last night. I was uh, We were in early. That's from talking with people. We get stopped, chatting with people, taking pictures with folks, having a good time at the party all last night, but then also throughout the day, walking the hall and walking the expo hall. The expo hall is closed at this point in time. It's kind of sad to see the lights coming down. Um, this is when sure. I get a little bit teary-eyed at the end of the conference. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. This gets sad. People it's all right. are going we'll, home. We'll just, we'll just go find another turkey leg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you see the big sign? So, so the, the, there's a big wall behind us uh, where there's a whole bunch of sessions shown. And this morning when we walked in, there's a big sign that says, Scientists have proven that if you're hungover, bacon cures hangovers. I don't know where that scientific study is. I cannot reference it. No, but, but, but we did see it. Although, it, Joey, we, we agreed yesterday that we had over-indexed on bacon content. We have over-indexed on bacon content. But, but it keeps coming up. It keeps it being does. relevant. Yep. It does. First, there are bacon in cars. And I, yeah, I don't know. Hey, uh, <laughs> We should probably get some actual work done. I was going to say, so this I is understand. The people who care about our I understand that there will be shenanigans later on today. <gasps> yes. Yep. There's a thing that we're going to be doing at around 12, 12, 15-ish, I think it is. Um, you call it battle, battle decks? decks. Yeah. Battle decks. Sometimes it's known as PowerPoint karaoke. And, and the basic idea is that uh, you see a slide, you don't know what it is ahead of time, and you have to speak to the slide, uh, and then the next person goes. And it auto advances in 20 seconds. It auto advances in 20 seconds. So it's basically an improv game, right. but with PowerPoint. So I have found out where all the slides from the entire conference are stored, <sighs> and I'm going to be masterfully creating a 250-slide deck that no one knows what the content is and uh, put them on random mode and then see what happens. We're going to get some different personalities throughout the yes. week there are our guests and other hosts to be able to uh, pull this off. Is there going to be a disclaimer at the bottom? <laughs> Please do not listen to these exactly. people. This, this, is, not this the is not real. This is not the official stuff. <laughs> this is not Jeffrey Snover's deck. Right. right? So we'll see Mark how that one there goes. Mark Rosinovich did not say this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're saying this, not Mark. Uh, yeah. What else do we have going on today? Uh, well, right after this, uh, we're going to be cutting a break over to some uh, content. It's called Master Tooling for Containers. Ooh. That's what's on the curated stream. Okay. Uh, coming back from that, we actually had a late minute edition. It was currently like a placeholder that said Channel 9 Live Content. Uh, we actually have um, uh, a session with Pumala interviewing one of the PMs from the File Sync team. Oh. That's the uh, hybrid service that allows you to take a service on one of your file servers and then transport three quarters or one third or two thirds of the file server content up into Azure and leaves little markers. You can just go off and oh, pull cool. them down and use them. So, so you still have some of it local if you need to for maybe governance or, right. or other reasons, but you can have the rest of it 
on Azure. Yep, so you still have access to it. It's in the cloud out of the way, and then as people need it, it might come back down again, or it might not cross that threshold and stay up there. Oh, the okay. Oh, oh, okay. So that's actually different than what I was thinking. So it's kind of sounds like, and they'll talk about it more, but it almost sounds like a, kind of like a, you know, Apple's like iCloud, you know, like, a, or OneDrive, you know, a, what, on, what OneDrive does, yeah. where, where it deletes, uh, r puts your files in the cloud until you need them. It's kind of like that, but like on-prem. You got it. Very cool. Very, very cool stuff's coming up there. I hear you've got a really good conversation coming up yes. with our friend Sophia. With Sonia? Sonia. Yes. Son <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, I called I called Jason Steve uh, live, so oh, nice. so Steven, so, it. so it's okay. Yes. Uh, so Sonia Cross, uh, uh, who is one of um, our, our cloud operations advocates, she gave a, a great packed talk on burnout right. um, a couple of days ago, and it, it was recorded. It will be available for people to watch on demand. But um, I just wanted to kind of uh, have a, a more you know kind of abbreviated conversation about that topic because um, so many people have, have talked about it to her, and 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 we definitely talk to people about it all the time. Yep. And so I'm really excited to have that conversation and, and it feels like at the end of the week especially when people have been working hard oh, yeah. it feels like it's a good time to, to talk about burnout and what you can do to uh to think about yourself and, and, and avoid that sort of thing so here's a fun fact about sonia now that i've called her a different name i made her go through dallas to get here i said hey go through dallas is shorter it was it your took fault. Her 52 yes. hours to get here oh my god yeah. it was your fault that she had like the the the, the flight travel, the, the, the Completely travel and, and i just called her by the wrong name she will nice. never speak to me or give me tim tams again no nice. she's she's nice she will well, if it were me, but see, that's the slurin in me. It's <laughs> slurin in me. That's whole Can you be a little. hybrid house? Can you be like a little I, bit of both? Yeah, maybe. Well, I, mean, I don't know. Have Could you be. read the books? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, and the next curated session we're going to be talking about is actually one from good old-fashioned friend Ned Pyle. Yes. He was just here again a moment ago, he a little was. while ago. Can I pick uh, up that name you just tried? I know. To I'm up. just doing it. Um, Ned's going to be talking about retiring your old file servers with st storage migration services in Windows. Well, so that's great with, with, with Puma's conversation. Yep. Like the, the, there's the receipt. It's, like, it's like you planned this, it's right? It's almost like I knew what I was doing programmatically <laughs> when you and I were in the room <laughs> trying to hash out which ones we should curate. I'm like, let's try this one. Let's try that. And then right after that one there, we're going to be doing the uh, Battle Dex. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a wrap-up as well. Yes. Because we have to say goodbye at some point. We do. Go we back to our regular day jobs and pack up the set. I'm glad I do not have to take the set uh, back with me as mm -hmm. carry on. So yeah, no, good. same. Because I, I somehow think that they would not allow me. I think they would make me check this, and I would be concerned about checking the set. Yeah, I, I had to bring half the tricorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coding device down when I came down. Yeah, no, he had this huge uh, uh, case that literally. Um, I have been able to fit inside. There's a photo <laughs> of me curled up in it. Um, I, knew, I knew we were trying to reduce our costs and our expenses. <laughs> I don't know. We're trying man, to start shipping that's hosts around. That's basically what we do. Yeah, I, we, we almost shipped me. All that's right. almost how I got here. 15 seconds each. What has been your favorite moment of Microsoft Ignite, whether it be live, whether it be at the show itself? Start with you, Christina. I think actually it was it was our conversation with Mark Rosinovich. Oh here. yes. I think that was that was really really good. That's um, an awesome. One. That, that was that was really uh, terrific, and you can watch that on on YouTube or on Channel Nine if you want to see that. Uh, I think that was that was it for me so far. For me, it was um, the Expo Hall. Yeah. I love walking around the Expo Hall, and uh, when I whenever I went there with some other folks to be able to go off and do a little bit of a walkabout, um, the I'd always would I wouldn't walk by the Microsoft booths. Because nope. I know the people in the Microsoft booths. So I was actually walking around one or two streets out to be mm -hmm. able to walk through all the different partners to see what was going on with all the partners. That was, that was my favorite. I d I'm not a swag person. I'm, I'm, I'm banned from bringing swag home. Oh, one yeah. By my actually, family, I kind of want to change so. mine. My swag, get, get, getting my elephant and my, and my yeah. monkey, those, that, that was highlights. Highlights as well. Well, I mean, obviously, talking to Ann Johnson. Yeah. We'll <laughs> leave it at there. It's time to get you folks off to your sessions for this morning. We are going to be back with more Channel Line Live, including Battle Decks, later on today. Stay tuned right here from Orlando, right here. Florida. It's Microsoft Ignite. Have a great day, everybody. I want to I throw something.